What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another cube draft. One card that just popped up was Mass Manipulation, which is XX, blue, 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 blue. Gain control of X target creatures and or planeswalkers. So if X is one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So six mana, you're getting basically a confiscate. That'll take a creature or a planeswalker, right? So eh, not terrible. Not in Bolus's clutches, right? Same kind of thing, except you can only get planeswalkers or creatures instead of any permanent. But then you get scalability. So for eight mana, two, two, and then four, you get two planeswalkers or two creatures or any combination. For ten mana, you get three. Um, I think ten mana is like you're kind of pricing yourself out of it a little bit. Ten mana is really uh, it's a good amount. I think the sweet spot is either it's probably two. One is too few to make this card a real real impactful, um, and two is probably just where you want to be, where you can just take their their ral or whatever. But and uh, yeah, in commander you can take multiple for multiple different players as well. So uh, it's creatures and or planeswalkers. So you're not going to be able to take two of each for two. It's 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 up to two that are creatures and or planeswalkers. So card's interesting. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, ancestral recall, ladies and gentlemen. Ancestral recall, calling it now. Any uh, steps? No. No. Actually, yes. Yes, there is. <clears throat> there is a stipulation. We're going to do... Um, yeah, all right. We're going to do this Scott B. stipulation. Okay. You ready? What do you, what do you want to take here? I don't know what our stip is yet. Add com stip. <clears throat> okay, the stip is Scott B. Q. Blue Black with minimum of one Planeswalker. Ultimate rule, if there's an Ashiok, you take an Ashiok. Passing an Ashiok would result in an immediate negation of the entire stipulation. Blue, black, and colorless cards, whatever archetype you feel is best, there is no order in which you must draft. You cannot draft other mana pips outside of blue, black, unless the card has both blue, black, and another color in the casting cost. So I'm leaning towards Disallow. Such as Nicobolus the Ravager. Uh, you can go out of color to get your hands on one Planeswalker. Uh, but there has to be at least one Planeswalker in the final draft. If it really sucks, sideboard it out after the first game. And he he goes on to say, lastly, you must answer... What's our, you, what, what's our pick here? Just dis, Disallow? Disallow, sure. We could take Bloodstained Mire as well, but... Um... He goes on to say, you must answer one of these questions of the day questions I use with fourth graders I teach. Your choice, and in any order, you have to answer one before the draft begins, and then one in between each match. Um, so instead, we'll just answer one after the drafting portion, and then we'll answer one between each draft. So there's six total questions. We have to answer four of them. Mystic Confluence or Grim Monolith? Yikes. Probably just Grim Monolith. You think so? Card's pretty busted. It, it really is. I'll take it. I'll Grim Monolith. Oh, Nexus of Fate. I have yet to play with a Nexus of Fate in this cube. Now you can. And all this can be yours. For only twenty nine ninety nine for free for five months. For free for five months? Mm-hmm. Fencer, <clears throat> Misty Rainforest, and a Nighthawk. Uh, does Crater follow the stip? I don't know. No, it does not. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I mean, I think Fencer is much better than Nighthawk, right? Mm. Misty also good because it lets us search for dual lands if we get them. I like Fencer. I took it. I took the Fencer. I did it for you because it's your birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. It's going to be my birthday every day, isn't it? What about tomorrow? I'm not even on the stream. Well, only time will tell, Michael. It's hard to say what, what happens on your birthday. And before Ashok and Sol Ring in the same pack. Oh, God. It, or Ancestral Recall and Sol Ring in the same pack. I would cry. Give me this. Give me this. You can't be trusted with things anymore. Because you're, like you're the biggest fidgeter I've ever seen. <laughs> Here, fidget with this. There you go. No, don't. No, you'll end up stabbing your brain out. Mike B is speeding towards that AARP discount. That's that's true. That's a true story. 
This tip is very specific in its lack of specificity. There is no order in which you must draft. So if we get Nicol Bolas Planeswalker, though, we can take it because... Because we can. We can also take Maelstrom Wand. No, that doesn't have black in it. Chromium. We could take a Chromium. Oh, great. It's not even in the cube, man. Don't be a hater. You stupid hater. I'm going to take the Verdant Catacombs here. Probably better. Oh, actually, do you want to take the Gaunti? Or the Verdant Catacombs? Good talk. I like Gaunti. I do too, actually. I think Gaunti is real strong in here. Okay, now we're going to take... Oh! <laughs> Snappy Boy is pretty good. All of these on-color fetch lands, and we're just getting... We keep getting steamrolled into the... Pack Rat, too? Yeah, it's definitely Pack Rat. I don't care about a godless shrine. This deck's actually... I, I mean, I, I'm comfortable with all seven of these picks so far. I would have liked to have, like, Verdant Catacomb, Marsh Flat, or Bloodstained Mire, or Misty Rainforest. Yikes. Actually, if any of those come back, it would be pretty cool. Oh, uh, Sphink. Oh, uh, Sphink, Sphink. Oh, toot toot. Nailed it. Would you say you're a Chungus Among Us? I would. Where can we go to eat, guys? Give me, give us some food suggestions. I also hope I get Thief of Sanity. I'm a big Thief of Sanity fan, especially in this cube, because, like, you can just steal their, their, their ridiculous cards. No, the good Thai place closes early. Pizza's always good. I agree with that. A dumpster. Not bad. Not bad. Flapjacks. I ain't going no flapjacks. I ain't going no flapjacks. How about dirty dogs? We can hit the dirty dogs. I don't know what that is. Cast down. Is it cast down or is it scrubland? We don't really have much removal. Cast down's probably pretty good. I'll take cast down. Oh, uh, I guess it's duress. I don't think Lotus Blood. Oh, we can't actually. Can we, can we play this? I don't know if we can actually play this. You cannot draft other mana pips outside of blue black unless the card is both blue and blue black and another color in the casting cost. Interesting. But you can go outside of it for planeswalkers. Oh, you can go out of your color to get your hands on a planeswalker. Oh, it does say that. Sweet. Yeah, okay. Actually. The stip got cut off, so we're going to go stip. This is going to be stip one. And where did it cut off at? Uh, you can go. Okay, so. And then we're going to add stip two. Now step one again. What's the pick here? Anything good? Ophiomancer? Sure. I love Ophiomancer just because it provides a very easy way to have a uh, sword get equipped. Okay, so, and then the questions. Okay. So now there's a step one and a step two command. Um, I'm just going to take Scrounger here. It's not great, but eh, I'll take an Angel. It's a better card. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mm. In case we get that nickel bolus. <clears throat> Read my message. Okay, hold on. In America, you have pizza with pasta. Times usually don't like that, but I'm curious about trying. Um, you don't always have pizza with pasta, though. Actually, I don't. I, I think they're two, those are two separate meals. Actually, we don't. We don't have those a ton. It's rare you combine those two because they're usually too heavy. Each one is too too heavy on its own. Actually, Kiora can make the deck as well. Wow, none of those lands came back that we wanted. Not a single one of them. Whereabouts do you two butterflies live? Uh, we're in Florida. Oh. Well then. Oh lord, he coming. Also, Bayou... Which does help us cast both of these. 
Mm-hmm. Well, biscuits. Actually, Nicol Bolas probably comes back, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, we're taking this Bayou. Come on, Underground Sea, one time. Just get a few whole rotisserie chickens. Oh, you have pasta on pizza? No, that's not. That's not super common. There's some restaurants that do serve pizza with like big like ziti as a topping, but it's very rare. Oh, cryptic command? Oh, watery grave. It's got to be watery grave. Yeah. Like it's just too important for us. Yeah, I would love if one of these comes back. Actually, any four of these, any of those four and we're good to go. Muldrifter. I like Muldrifter probably better than Liliana. And probably better than Karn. Really? Yeah. Karn's pretty good. It's another... Is it? I should rather have a big moles. Okay. If you put a hot dog on a pizza, is it a sandwich? <laughs> is it in a no. bun? The what's is no. What's the Cincinnati chili chat? Is that a different kind of chat? Hey, man. You ever participate in a Cincinnati chili chat? I don't know what that is. Well, it's a different kind of chat. Can someone tell me if it's if it's Moldrifter or if it's Liliana? I don't actually know. Liliana does fill our planeswalker part. We already fulfilled it with both of these. Well, we aren't necessarily playing them yet. We gotta buy you. Don't be stupid. Wow. Look. Oh my god. What is this? Like a 10th pick? 12 plus 6, 18. This is a 4th pick library? Okay. Sure. We gotta pass the Thief of Sanity, which is real sad. I mean, that's not even close, though. It's pretty close. I like Thief a lot. I don't think that's close. It's usually Moldrifter or Drifter. Nice. Nice! Pizza is just bread with stuff on it. Change my mind. I don't think I can. I don't think, I, I don't think I'm in a position to change that mind. You're not wrong. No, it's that's actually... Uh, you nailed it. What do we got? Two drops, three drops, four drops, six drops, seven drops. Ugin's better than library. Get out of here. Yeah, you're too. That's that's such. What an Italian thing to say. That's Spazio, by the way. I don't know if you remember that. No. Oh, no. I remember nothing. I know. Boy, do I know. I'm going to take Creeping Tarpet here. You know why? Because I value good. good fixing. Pizza's just an open face sandwich. Don't know if that's true. Every road has its open face sandwich. No. Just like every Michael is, is an open has face a grilled cheese. Just like every Chungus is a Michael B. <laughs> it's either Urborg or Fatal Push. I'm not sure which. I kind of like Urborg. Fatal Push is good, though. It's Fatal Push? It's Fatal Push, isn't it? Mm, I like Walking Ballista. Why? Because it picks off Tiny Duders. Doesn't Fatal Push do that, too, but without a huge mana commitment? I guess so. Goodbye, Michael. We also have Snapcaster Mage, so I'm kind of interested in just making this better. Oh, this is a good sword. And we do have Pack Rat, Ophiomancer... Braska, we have a lot of ways to make tokens. I'm going to take the sword. Every Michael has its down. And it's been a while now. I can still feel so much pain. I think it's just dark. This Tassica, right? Shut up. Are you alive? Huh? Are you were you for are you for real? I was like, reading the chat. Is it Tassiger? What what chat were you reading? I was just catching up. I was behind. Oh my god, you were friggin' falling asleep. Yeah, with my eyes open. <laughs> like that's like that's above you. Sure it is. That's impossible, man. No, you it can't ain't. do that. Look, the nickel bolts came do back. That anyway. <clears throat> oh wow! Wow! I'd rather have Cryptic. I really hope the other one comes back. Please, Thief of Sanity one time. No one wants this blue-black card. 
We got the bolus and we got the cryptic command back. I'm going to go hard on the lands next pack. You better. Oh, Murray. Oh, hit it's you murder. It is murder. It's murder. Dang it. Boom, 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 boom. I'm taking this guy. What are you going to do about that? Nothing. What did you pass for Thief? Library of Alexandria. So it was it was actually difficult. I wanted this I wanted the thief a lot, but not for the not over a library. Hey, you came back. Nailed it. Never didn't have it. Come on, Mox Sapphire, Mox Jet, Black Lotus, Ancestral Recall Time Walk one time. Do you want all that? <laughs> All in the same pack. Soul Ring. Soul Ring one time. Underground Sea as well. Oh and, my god. And Tropical Island. And then our deck is perfect. I'd rather have a fetch land. I'd rather have a fetch land. I'd rather have a fetch land. Well, we passed Misty and we passed Verdant. So the only one left is Polluted Delta. And I don't think we've seen a Polluted Delta. What about Marsh Flats? Uh, we have seen a Marsh Flats. Dang it. And we saw Bloodstained Mire in pack one, too, so... Which is sad, because we have two black, black lands. And we've seen Verdant, Marsh, and Bloodstain. Delta's like the only one we haven't seen. Okay, so no power... No lands. Perfect. Seems bad. Seems. Seems bad. Here's a jet though. Is that even any good? Just kidding. It is very good. I mean, I'd rather have Jitte than Worn Power Stone. We already have Grim Monolith. <clears throat> there is a Sheldock Isle, which makes... Yeah, actually, Sheldock Isle might be really good here. Because we have Bolas and Nexus of Fate and, like, Vraska, and we have a lot of high-end stuff. I'm going to take Sheldock for this, this... Hey, Time Walk. It's pretty good. Nailed it. Where are we taking so many turns? Well, two... Did it. Did it. Did it. Unfortunately, we can't wheel Soulfire Grandmaster because it is a white card. So. All right, we need more blue lands, like, stat. We need an underground sea and a tropical island, like yesterday. Kitchen Finks is greater than Time Walk. Changed my mind. Also, we do have a lot of... Yeah, we have a lot of friends. We have a lot of super friends. It's pretty cool. This deck's looking pretty sweet so far. Oh, also, Signets would be great. Yeah, I would love a... I would love an on-color Signet. You got a little fish there? Mm-hmm. It's your little fish boy. It's just Gear Hulk, right? <laughs> Search for his con is actually pretty good, though. We can also. Uh, do we have a Teferi land? No, unfortunately. <clears throat> it's either Search or Gear Hulk, right? Gear Hulk is. gets. Cast down and fatal push and cryptic command. Disallow. That's pretty good. Yeah, probably take that. Yeah, I don't hate that actually. 
We don't have any white. We don't have any white to cast the Teferi, and our mana base is pretty strained with the green and the red already. Oh, we do have a creeping tar pit, which is super nice. I forgot about that guy. I don't foresee us playing Field of Ruin. Oh, on color signet. Yes, please. That's perfect. I feel like our deck building gets a lot easier if we just cut the two, cut the non blue black planeswalkers. What? <laughs> it's clearly mana leak here. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, wait, there is a hero's downfall. Yeah, but it's double black, and we don't really need double black right now. Like, the only other double black card we have is Gonti. So I think it's I think mana, mana leak is just probably better for us. We could also take this seven mana Garrick. Jeez. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take mana leak here. Come on, tropical island underground tomb, underground sea, underground tomb. What the hell's an underground tomb? Nobody knows. Nobody knows how to get back home. I'm going to take Animate Dead. Nikki B is B. Yeah, but he's 8 mana, so I'm not really too concerned about it at that point. My point is, I don't want to have to have double black within the first, like, 4-5 turns. I'd play that anime Dead. I don't know if we're there yet, though. Well, it targets their graveyard, too, right? Right, but I mean, like... If they ain't got nothing good... Shoot. I'm just going to take High Tide. I'm gonna nuke one of these uh, one of these storm decks from orbit. I'm just being a wow. Real mature, Chad. Real mature. Also, I like that uh, Mana Leak is another torrential gear hulk target. That's pretty sweet. Spell Pierce or Collector Brutality. Ah, I like Pierce. I do too. This is our 23, right? We don't have any problems, any no issues with this 23. I like all the cards here. Oh, wow, the Jace came back? Oh, God, I really like Soulfire Grandmaster, especially with Time Walk. Oh, my God. I want to take Jace. Yeah, Mesmeric Fiend is fine. Do we cut something for Jace? I think so. What, you cut Pack Rat? No. Are you crazy? <laughs> Oh, also, I forgot we had Nexus of Fate, so we actually have Time Walk and Nexus of Fate. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We're taking all the Oh, turns. dang. Oh, buttery biscuits. This mana base is going to be rough, dog. It's, it's going to be rough. We could put the Spell Pierce in the main deck and cut the green ones. Yeah, the green is super greedy. Ah, we also have Golgari Signet, though. Maybe we cut the Nicol Bolas. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Now wow. you can play that instead of instead, Bolas. Well, why don't we play both then? Well, Admiral, what did you say, buddy? Meh, I'm Franklin Four. Meh, are you going to GP Oakland? I have no plans to go to GP Oakland yet. Yet. We gotta pick between green or red. Can't we can't be doing both. I think green is easier for the mana base, for sure. We can play one forest. <clears throat> Nobody knows when I'm getting back home. So we can cut Nikki B, unfortunately. I like this. Probably cut Kiora. Well, you should go. It's this weekend. That's an easy one for you. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> See you there. Cringe. The triple blue, cl blue cryptics doesn't seem like that much of a reach. We're going to be playing a lot of islands. Frank, I swear to God, if you cut Nicol Bolas. My problem with Grim Tutor is that it's three mana and you take three. Yeah, I don't like that card. I don't love Grim Tutor. But, I mean, we do get to search for a time walk, though. We also have Jace, Ashiok, Vraska, and Garrick, so... I think we could cut the sword. 
For what, Spell Pierce? I agree with that, actually. I we only have nine creatures. I just, you know. What comes back, Spell Pierce or Grim Tutor? Either one of those is good. Yeah, probably Tutor. Like we have two time walk effects. Yeah, you still keep Ophiomancer. You don't care about Sword to have Ophiomancer. Ophiomancer's great. Spell Pierce is so good, though. Sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah, I guess sometimes is true. Yeah, alright, well, let's go with the Tutor. That's fine. We can always board in a, a thing. Yeah, this seems good. Alright, so... Sort by Colares. <clears throat> we'll play one forest. Yep, I like that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine black sources. We can actually go down one. And this is seven, eight, nine, ten. I like ten blue. Four, five, six, seven. Ten, ten, seven, eight, or ten, eight. I can even actually cut this. Go three, four, five, six. This is seven black sources. And like a million blue. Eight. 9, 10, 11. This is 11, 7. I'd rather go 10, 8. 10, 8. Alright, we can do that. How many green do we have? Oh, hold on, yeah. Uh, how many green green sources? Mm -hmm. Just Bayou and Forest, but we only have... Our, our green cards are all, you know, 7 and 6 and 7 drop. Oh, and Signet. So we have 3 green sources for a 6 and a 7 green drop. Okay. Alright, so the questions. We have to answer a question before the draft begins and one between each round. So, <clears throat> what is the best movie you ever saw in theaters or the best movie experience you've ever had? You know, like watching Tommy Wiseau's The Room at the theater with a bunch of friends. Uh, and then, this is actually, the simulation was from Scott B. Uh, Scott B., as I always mention, is the one who actually suggested that I go start taking deck critiques and, like, you know, offering that service. And it's, it's done very well. So, I um, always appreciate Scott's support. And he always comes up with really weird uh, requirements. So, uh, for me, it was Terminator 2 back in 1991, which is an amazing movie. Probably one of the best action movies ever made. So, <clears throat> I think my best movie experience or, um, yeah, the best movie experience I've ever had was probably uh, seeing Clerks for the first time. Because when I saw Clerks for the first time, I was kind of blown away by, by like, how low budget it was, how yet still how engaging and entertaining and clever it was, the way, how well written it was, and that Kevin Smith made it on like ten thousand dollars after you know maxing out his credit cards, and um, I wanted to make movies before that, and this kind of just cemented the fact that I was like, oh, this is definitely what I want to do. I want to make movies. So, um, had a really big impact on me. The first Clerks. I'm thinking. Okay, think it over. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start the match, but don't don't forget it. Ooh. I like it. <clears throat> Interesting. <laughs> First turn relic. In hand, Torrential Gear Hulk Snapcaster. It's really hard for me because it kind of narrows down to like what's your favorite movie, and that's how I have to answer. Okay. Um, not really, because your favorite movie experience might not be your favorite movie. Clerks isn't my favorite movie anymore. But that was definitely one of my more more memorable movie experiences. Don't get it twisted. And if they don't put any pressure down, we get to play Ashion. And the most recent I can think of is I really enjoyed Guardian of the Galaxies 2 a lot. Like, I thought it was a pretty fun experience. Like, those movies are really fun. 
Is that a final answer? I think so. Okay. He's an Ashiok, Ashiok on the... <laughs> oh, Scott, what's going on, buddy? Wow, I didn't even know it was you, because that's a really weird name. One, two, three, zero, 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 one, two, three. That's good. I like the originality there. Wow. Uh, make, make Birthday Boy answer the questions, too, shirtless. All right, buddy. Yeah, nope, nope, uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> also, Ashiok uh, really accelerates the, the speed at which we can shell dock Isle here, which is pretty sweet. Yep, that is a Blightsteel and a Kaldatha Forge Master under there. Have you seen Adam Sandler contribute to Chris Farley? I haven't actually... I saw part of it. What did they reveal? Coalition Relic and Skull Clamp, sure. So they played both. Now they play Mirror Angel. Now they'll drop a land. And now they have one card in hand? Okay. It's not bad. Huh. Well, now they have more cards in hand, I guess. Okay, well, they're doing very well for themselves here. Did they just activate that to get rid of their... I don't... What? I don't understand. Oh, that was really what we wanted, actually, because we have the Venser we can, like, do a little bounce and block. Bounce and block and bounce and block and bounce and block and bounce and block and bounce and block. You know how it goes. What did we hit? Anything exciting? Three planes. Seems good. All right. Hmm. Hmm. What can we do here? We can't fatal push anything exciting. We could snapcast or bounce the golem and then block something. I think that's actually fine. Twenty-two cards in their deck. Actually, if they, <laughs> if they actually draw off Skull Clamp, we can actually uh, end of turn put a Garrick into play, which is pretty insane. Oh, it's one in any library. Yeah. <clears throat> you may play the exiled card if if a li if a library has twenty or fewer cards in it. This is my Venser. So Vashiok takes three here, but that's totally fine. I'm not going to bounce this Amiria Angel. That's a good one. I mean, we actually... We're not... It's not terribly impossible to just mill them at this point, really. Uh, you can have one of these planes. Because they're literally exiling two cards a turn, they're drawing a card, and we're exiling three. So that's six cards a turn. You can kill that. And they're drawing two more? Oh my god. I mean, they still have 17 left in the library. Well, they're going to have... They're going to take... They're going to really take three, and then they're going to have three... Two, one more from the turn. So they're going to be like at 13 next turn. Oh, reveal these two. Sure, you got it. You got it. Oh, Athalia. And a hanger back for two. And Porcelain Legionnaire. Okay, so that's gone. I imagine you played one of these. Skull Clamp's gone. Relic is gone. Porcelain Legionnaire is gone. That is correct. All right, hitting land drops has been very, very nice. Sword, Rakdos, Signet, and a Plains. Okay. Well. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Fascinating. You doing okay? Yeah. How's your... How's your phlebotomy going? Phlebotomy? I don't know what that is. You know. I actually don't know what it is either. I just kind of made it up. I think it's a real thing, though, right? So, mom, I mean.
Uh, it's a process of making a decision with the vein with a needle. The procedure. Okay, so yeah, it's it's taken. It's take. It's like a little taken blood. So we cast this. It costs one more because of the Thalia. And then if we want to fatal push something, it costs one more. It is. It's when you have your blood drained. So we can Garrick and kill this Karn, right? And it goes to he goes to six. I'd be more interested in killing a creature with it. Right, but then he goes to like three. He goes to two. Which seems worse than him going to six. Because they don't really have a lot of <clears throat> ways to deal with that. Because then we can just block and then three and three. So they can kill one. Or we can just block here. And then I think we're just fine. Like they kind of have to go at Ashiok here, right? Their deck seems pretty sweet. I wish we had a Shatterstorm or something. You got it. You got it. Oh wow, even 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 metal worker? Oh okay. Alright. Ashiok. All three at Ashiok, huh? Well. No, they've changed their mind. All three at Garrick. Gary. Hmm. Something to block here just to get rid of it, because it's kind of a obnoxious card. They'll also draw two, go to eleven, then they'll go to eight. Yeah, I don't care about the two one ones really. I also like having... Sheldock is 20 or less. They had 20 or less. <clears throat> My god. Toxic Deluge for one would be great here. I don't know if you have that. Tangle Wire. Yeah, it's gross. Yep, that's cool. It's probably going to kill us. Well, and that too. Oh boy, let's get rid of Apex Predator, I guess. I feel like the game just got out of hand right now. Yeah, Tangle Wire is really something we can't deal with. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen damage. That is a lot. I mean, we could snapcast or fatal push right now. Right, but then they just respond by cracking this, I believe. Oh, I thought it had to be tapped. It is, well, it is tapped, but you know, tap it to second. Oh, you think? Oh, you gotta, no, 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 just, just, oh, okay. just one. Um, I guess we can get a Kaldotha Forge Master. Three, four. Ugh, crying out loud, that's obnoxious. Yeah, not thrilled about that. One, two, three, four. Land. Time walk. No, pack rat? Sure. Um, turn 11. We exile 3, they go to 8. They probably kill Ashiok. <clears throat> it is. It's 20 or less. If a library has 20 or fewer cards in it, Did they stack it wrong? Oh, good. They have to tap four permanents instead of three because they stacked it wrong. Not like it matters, but still. 
It's the little victories. Wow, I felt like we were actually doing very, very well up until the last turn where they went like vomit, tangle wire, lodestone golem. Maybe like a, maybe I shouldn't have just blocked and they just don't get all the because they might have theoretically drawn both of these off of the skull clamp, or they could have had them. That's a good one. Are we dead? We block here, we take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, we go to 3. Well, that ain't dead. All at face? Interesting. Oh, well, I didn't know we had the loss. The one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Oh, I guess we. Yeah. Okay. Magic's hard. I mean, we were pretty dead no matter what. I don't know we were getting out of Tangle Wire. Yeah, we're getting out of Tangle Wire. I'm gonna take Grim out. I'm gonna take bring in Mesmeric Fiend. Spell Pierce seems good here. <clears throat> uh, take out Garrick. I think he's a little too expensive. And I also want. Um, Kiora, maybe? Hmm. Maybe not. I think it's fine without. I will play first. Oh. Keep! God, I get so excited. Stop yelling. God. Gabe it! Mike, what are you eating for dinner, buddy? I well, don't know. I'm getting real tired of your chungus, your chungus attitude. Well, maybe if you were Among Us, you would know. Let's see this. This looks good. No. One, two... Sure, you know what? I'm just going to play... No, I ain't. I'm gonna keep up mana leak. I don't trust this. If you go like Lodestone Golem, I don't feel like dealing with that nonsense. Plus, like, as long as we have mana for either of these next turn, I'm good. I'm G2G. Ghosty birthday Chungus boy. That's your the old GBCB. Chunga, 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 chunga. Oh, they just exiled chunga. the relic. That's pretty cool. Alright. I'm game for all these things that you're doing. I can't stop this chungus deep inside of me. This is scary. I know, it is, but you gotta do what you gotta do, man. You only live once. You have seven mana if you play land. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. That was not very impressive. I'm hooked on a feeling. Hmm. If we Jace, just gonna die. I think I just want to go Signet, keep up mana leak. I know you wanted to bomb a taco for dinner. Nope. Pass. Hard pass. Oh yeah, let's put that in the garbage. Can you put that in the trash can? Put it in the trash can. I just want to attack with my thief. Oh, now we can. Huzzah! And we get to keep up disallow too? Wow. What a time to be alive. Mike, if I was to send you a luchador mask for your birthday, what size would it be and what would your luchador name be? I don't know what size my luchador mask would be. Amateur. 
My name the would Chungador. be Chungador. <laughs> yeah, the Chungador. That's definitely it. That's actually a good name, man. Congrats on your Chungador name. Well, I don't eat beef, so I'm probably not ordering carne asada, but Mike is more than welcome to. Don't tell me what to do. I, di- I didn't actually. Nothing I said was. Don't tell me what to do. I, I just said I didn't. I feel like you did, though. Mm, no, you'd be wrong. If we can hit a land here. Is this player cast? You may look at the cast. Arg. Cast makes me mad. Well, we can't play the lands, right? We no. look at it and cast that card. You may spend mana. Yeah, all right. So we're just going to take the non land then. Is this better to Jace here? Or is, do we just. Do we Jace hope to hit a land than Tangle Wire? Are you Hindu? No, I'm just. I just don't eat a lot of meat. Um, all right, so we cast this, it goes to four, right? And then they're going to have to tap down four. So they go one, two, three, four. That's actually pretty good, right? Or we can Jace and try to hit a land. No gamble, no future. Is that really how it works? Mm-hmm. We don't have a few. Fut- That's not what I wanted to do, but all right. Well, the decision has been made for us. God, if the top card's land, I'm going to be real upset. Actually, I won't, because then we can still go land Jace, so... Thanks for the tangle wire, buddy. Uh, so we get to tap down three. We'll just tap down these three, I guess. You tap down the tangle wire, bro. You're right. Oh, my God. I always forget that. It's such a... Because that's like the best part of tangle wire, being able to tap it down for its own ability. So you're always ahead. And you get to take the counter off before your opponent. So you're always... You're always ahead. All right, fading. First. Tangle wire, one. Uh... Two, three. It was a land. We could have jaced, landed. Dang it. I know. Dang it. I'm so mad. I am. I am actually very mad. However, this guy's going to be... Uh, it's, it's pretty strong. It's a strong card. Ho! Ho, ho! Shut up. Don't say it. Don't do it. Don't even... Did you just play Tassiger here? Maybe it's just Tassiger, actually. Keep a disallow on the graveyard for the Gear Hulk. Sure. I like that better because it blocks all these guys. I don't want to just throw it on a Jace because it just dies. We'll take out Mana Leak and cast down. Keep it up, Mike. I kind of like tagging with the tarpet there. Get your. Uh, nah. There's just way better things we can do with our mana. At least in my in my humble opinion. Michael, where are we eating? I'm getting real tired of this. It's how about, your birthday. Um, how about Chungalungus? I knew it wasn't center. a real thing. He's like I'm like, he's gonna just make up some nonsense. And this is how I feel about it. <laughs> God, please make it go away. <laughs> uh you always want the fading on first, so you have to tap less fewer things. One uh, I'm just going to tap a Swamp here, because if we draw Vraska, it's not going to matter, I guess, because <laughs> we don't have enough mana. Yeah, I'll tap this guy, too. All right. Oh, Worm Coil Engine. Isn't that a thing? Isn't that something? Let's see if we can get something to deal with that. That is problematic, isn't it? None of these are any good. All right. Well, I guess we can get a top here. Boy, I wish I kept the cast down. <clears throat> yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. You can activate Tassiger. What does that do? Not a lot. Not a lot. (whistles) 
one, 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 two, three. Let's draw a card. Time walk. Oh, snappy boy. All right. Time walk gets real good at a certain point here now. All right, so we'll just play this. We'll probably take a hit from, from your boy. And I'll just play Skull Clamp too. Because it's just good mana. That's just good mana. Gonna... That's good mana. All right, we're done. Task Ripple Stop is a combo, but it's not a very good one for five mana. But I agree, that is a that is a synergistic interaction. What do we take over we, we take Ashok over control magic, right? You don't know. Maybe. Also you can feel free to look at any of these other questions and uh, let me know if any of them sound easily. Easily answerable. A lot of them are very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're very intricate. They require some thought. Also, if we can get like a time walk here, we can actually time walk twice, which is pretty nuts. You're going to attack my Jace, huh? All right, that's fine. Jace did its job. It's really sad that it did. Oh, okay, that'll do. So we're gonna go Island, Fatal Push, Vraska. Uh, um, yeah, we'll order it like this as usual. Fading two, tap down the tangle. Those line. questions are definitely interesting. Draw Vraska. And we'll see what we hit here. This just exiling three cards a turn is pretty nuts. One, two, three, four, five, six. More so when we get to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy! One, two, three. I just paid, I paid the one. Three, four, five, six. Vareska. It's a Vareska. Get rid of you. We also have a we have a, a fatal push on top, so we could actually draw this, but then we just give it to them. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's better or worse, but I mean, if they're just drawing it, if we're putting putting a top on the library and they don't get to draw it, we just get to get it back if we want it. So. Scott again. We discuss. Yeah, Scott. I <laughs> You don't have to say it's you after you're like it's you're like you're more like the mom that posts on your Facebook wall but then signs it with her name like love mom at the end. I actually yeah, I think thief is great. It fills the gaunty shaped <clears throat> hole in my standard shaped heart. We discussed this in fifth grade classroom when discussing interviews questions that can be answered simply yes no Arnage. I agree with that. That's true. Okay, so they have one card in hand. Oh dear god, it's a huge hanger back walker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just Hanger Back Walker. I see. That is not a Hanger Back Walker. Oh boy, these hits. These hits. These hits. These hits. I can't believe my eyes. Alright, so three are coming at Vraska. We are not able to save Vraska by simply fatal pushing here. So we're just going to block. Uh, we're going to block the Life Linker, I guess. Boy. Boy. That is, uh... That's a hell of a thing there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Alright, so we know it's Land, Fatal Push, Island. Yep, alright, that's... Boy, it's not where we want to be, is it? Nope. So we're going to draw Fatal Push. Does not matter, right? So, we can go one, two, three, four. I 
You could look at the top three now. I mean, I was more tempted to do this because it gets just the kids get the islands out of the way. It's so one, two, three, four, uh, one for top, and then if if one of the top two cards is time walk, then we get to draw it, which is pretty good. So one, two, three, four. Yep, two lands. All right. So now we either disallow Jace Bellerin or Verasco. <coughs> Duncan here. If I asked a yes or no question, would you answer it? Maybe. You cannot disallow poison counters, comically enough. It's too bad. That is too bad. I thought it was Island Island. Was it not two islands? Where did the forest come from? Well, we drew a card. So we drew the Fatal Push. It was Fatal Push Island Island. Unless the island just look... Can someone clip that and find out if the island literally just was blue? If it was a blue forest? Because that's really obnoxious if it was. You're going to be disallowed? All right. And now, we're going to top. Time walk. Oh, Venser. Oh, we're one shy for Venser. Because of course we are. <clears throat> Sheldock Isle, also pretty good. So we're going to put that, and then that, and then... Do we play land this turn? Who knows? I don't know. We can easily take a hit from this guy. We'll just have to trade with the Tassiger. Well, I don't think there'll be any trading done, but... <laughs> I don't think that's going to work the way you think it works. Let's actually hit them first as well. We should probably should hit them first, but... Yeah, if you guys can go back and check and see if it was, I, I under, I, I, it was obviously a forest. Now I'm not going to argue that it was. It was the land changed. No, I'm not. Can check the analog. See, I don't know. What the, I don't know what that means. I don't know what you guys are saying. You guys are all, you guys are pretty, pretty, pretty drunk. I think. I actually, like hanging back walker here. That seems fine. Main. I just want to make sure I don't skip anything. Then. So I think we're going to put this on Tasker so we can draw some things. Because what we really want to do is get closer to them time warps, boy. It doesn't let us disallow anything, but they are on a one turn. They have one card draw, so we're going to go to like seven fields. Seven fields. You got it, buddy. Disallow the trigger of getting poison counters. Oh, God. Uh, I don't Only think jumping good. with Thief is better. They have seven cards in their deck. Thief is actually doing us a lot of work. Yeah, that's fine. As long as I don't have to block any of those other creatures, I think we're good here. Yep, this is... Let me block here, because I have to... Trample, Infect, and... Do we kill any of these guys? We probably do. That's the one you want to kill? Yeah, why not? It's a land. A death touch guy might have been better. Your mother might have been better. Wow. Alright, seven poison. Draw the two cards. We get to look at a lot of things now. Is it worth cracking the treasure? Yes, probably. Time walk or Nexus. I will take either one. Cryptic Command actually does it too. All right, that's pretty good. That's very good, actually. <clears throat> yep, tap your board down. Yeah, that should be game, actually. Draw. Sheldock. And this, we know this has Grim and a land, so we can actually. Yeah, Ophiomancer's fine there. Not super exciting. Put you down to basically nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. One, two, three, four. We only have four blue, though, so we're one blue shy of actually casting both Disallow and Cryptic Command. Uh, Winter Orb. Good lord, man. Get your life together. Yeah, this should be the game. <clears throat> I 
Uh, they can still top deck if we put top on top, because then they just draw top, they play top, and then they can look at their top three, and then they can draw it with top. So, like, putting top on top doesn't, not only does it not prevent them from top decking. Uh, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine. That's actually probably taps you out if we do that. We're just going to bounce here. Uh, return this guy. And one, two, three, four. Affinity, yeah, you're the hero we need. All right, so we need to land Fatal Push of Island. Yeah, look, but like you can see the top, the top of the forest. Like if you look at it, the top of the forest is literally an island color. Yep. All right, that's. Yeah, it does not look like. The yeah, forest. the top of a forest looks like this. But when it's in the thing, yeah, we're just gonna go to the sideboard. Anyway. But yeah, you can see it. You can see it. Man, their deck seems real good. It's real hard to deal with. Maze of Ith actually might even be worth bringing in. Because of the grotesque... Uh... What about Kiora? Oh, I like Kiora too. Oh, well, let's bring Kiora in instead. I like that. Hmm. Let me take out. Eh, kind of. I just like Ophiomancer. I think it's a really efficient card. The best part is that if they have like a Misha's Workshop, they can't actually pay for Spell Piercer or Mana Leak. That's the best <sighs> part. Yeah. I don't think we ever have time to cast Disallow. Really? I think it's probably better than Jace. Okay, sure. Uh, I like Spell Pierce a lot. They have a lot of artifacts. What does it hit? It hits uh, Soul Ring. It hits... There's tons of artifacts. I don't want to go over all the artifacts in their deck. This hand's pretty bad. Yeah. Real slow. This is much better, actually. Uh, always going to keep Thief of Sanity. Always? Yes. And forever? Yep, that's... Yep. <laughs> wow. What is this, Commander? I mean, had like if we play, if we're on the play and we had spell fears, we'd hit both of these. So, yes, in effect is still damage. Damage is damage. Curbing carpet. Oh, we knew it. We knew what that was. We scried it. Oh my god, Miri every game. Karn, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Hmm, just make it 3-3. Three, three. Seems good. Well, we're just going to make a black. Uh, Gokaris. Is this better to Monolith and Signet here? I actually don't know. Oh, we can actually Monolith, Signet, and then cast down this guy. Or, or oh, well, let's miss Miric Fiend. Let's go Monolith. Signet and Mesmeric Fiend. Yep, glad we did that. So their hand is Plains Racto Signet. Sweet. Yep, that's pretty busted. Grim model can prevent Phyrexian damage? What? What? Wow, that's insane. Oh, two four fours. <clears throat> Seems good. Okay, so that was your draw. Yep, that one's gone. I'm confused. Okay. I mean, we still gotta deal with two five fives here. Like this is just a Busted draw, unfortunately. Seems good. Especially because now you can get your... Blightsteel Colossus. Does seem pretty good. Yep. No, oh, that seems okay. 
I would rather do it when we have Thief of Sanity. So maybe we just play Thief and then we time walk. Because you can't... There's no, you don't have Lightning Greaves. We're never going to draw a top and you have a Plains in hand. So you guys are going to... This is going to be 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're not dead. Uh, you can have a Mishra's Factory because Tangle Wire is not what I want to be looking at. Gone. Okay, so you just have planes in hand. So this is what? 7, 7 14, 15, 16, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, that's lethal. Alright, so I guess we're just going to block one of these guys. Enjoy your sword. One hundred percent didn't need to cast on the Forge Master because they didn't do that, and it doesn't have haste, and also because they attacked with it. Well, that is a thing. Uh, attack your face! Come on, something good. Blue Signet, Metal Worker. <laughs> not ideal. Definitely not. Alright, it doesn't matter. Time walk. Why not kill the Forge Master? With, because it doesn't really do anything. Like, I'd rather get this guy out and actually try to have a chance. Right, but even if they don't attack with it, they're not going to sack three of these artifacts to get a Blightsteel. They, I mean, they might. There's, they very well might, but... Can you imagine if I had Snapcaster in hand right now? How good that would be? It'd be pretty good. Yeah, we just have to keep going. Face like we can't. If we kill this, we take. We still take ten. We're dead. We're dead either way. That's rough. Yep, doesn't matter. <coughs> yep, that was unfortunate. I mean, their deck is pretty insane. Like, I'm not gonna. I yeah, think their deck is. This is probably busted. one of the best like artifact decks I've seen. So. Another oh. question time. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's stop on this one. Alright. Did you pick one? I didn't pick one, no. Well, I read them. That's really. Other than Magic the Gather, if you could have the cheat codes to life and make yourself world champion at whatever you wanted, what would you pick? World champion at anything? Scott's answer was MMA would be badass. No longer be looked at it like a total millhouse. Guess who's not getting picked on for flood pants now? The answer is Scott. George, good games. Uh, your deck was pretty busted, and uh, it made me sad. Uh, Chico's life in any world champion at whatever I wanted. It's, it's, a, it's a really hard question. I'm pretty sure if you're world champion at anything, you get rich that way. Like... <laughs> Poker seems like kind of a silly one. Like, it seems like kind of a silly thing to be a world champion of. Like, if you're a world champion swimmer, you're going to be rich. If you're a world champion skater like Tony Hawk, you're going to be rich. Like, being a world champion at whatever you choose is going to, it's going to inherently lead to money. So, I don't want to be a, being a world champion at poker is just basically being a world champion at making money. With no, ta with no actual, uh tangible skill. Except for, like, the skill of poker, which is not necessarily enjoyable. I'd be world champion of drawing lifelike portraits of celebrities with my feet. That's actually incredible. And uh, I, I can appreciate that kind of uh, <laughs> that kind of non-linear thinking there. That's nice. Um, I would probably be... I, I Actually, I'm leaning towards... No. World, I would be a world champion pianist. Can you be a champion at something that's not competitive, though? Because a champion implies you win. So I'm going to say I'm going to say world champion pianist. Even though it's not a uh, a competitive skill, so that's my. If it has to be of a competitive nature, I would say a world champion fencer. I think that'd be a cool skill to have. I think if it doesn't matter if there's a competition or not, I think I'd go with guitar because I really like. I think shredding is really cool. It has to be something that's tournament based. Shredding. <laughs> Oh, that's funny what he said. It's just funny. 
if I had to go with something that's a uh, like a competition. Thank you. No strips. Thanks so much for the sub. You're my world champion of Twitch. <laughs> Appreciate it. That's all I could ask for. So yeah, I'll go with penis. You can go with guitarist. So I guess Mike and I are just gonna start a band. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. The World Championship Band. Look, it's the most perfect hand ever. It literally has the best three basic lands along with the Library of Alexandria. I mean, if it had to be competitive, I think I'd probably just go MMA. But I think guitar, I think they made a they made a good point that guitarists and pianists are competitive. Like it's not like it's it's not like you're not competitive because it's a, it's an instrument, you know. How you doing back there? You messing your life up? Always, boy. World champion of growing weed. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> look, they have look, they have a library too. JK, those sucks. I don't want to discard, so I'll just play a Siggy. Mitch Jr. is my dog, MMA Bros. <laughs> oh god. My favorite part about these questions is that the chat is also like, this is what I do, this is what I do. And I'm like, oh, cool. Everybody's everybody's hopping in. Well, you knock yourself out, my friend. Or the other choice I'd probably be would just be art. What didn't you weren't you talking about how you wanted to be a world champion chungus earlier? Uh, I'm already that. Okay. I just want to be clear. You do see how many uh, how many cards were drawn off this library. That's correct. It's a good amount. I think art is hyper competitive. Yeah, definitely. You can be a world champion artist, right? You can't get any chungier. <laughs> you're basically you're a peak chungus. <laughs> oh no, I could definitely go more. Wow. What type of art? You Jackson Pollock type? No. Yeah, you little Mitch. I just like high, 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 high. Hyper realistic fantasy art. Hi, hi, hi. I made fun of you a little bit. I know you did. Didn't care. Get wrecked. What a friggin' nerd. Got him. If you're a world champion chef, you can cook. Yeah, I was thinking that too. That was another option. I would want something that's practical. You know what I mean? I think they're trying to compete with our card drawing, but they don't realize that ours is free. Wow. There's they they've taken eight damage from their from their library of Alexandria. And it's been two mana a turn? What a bunch of suckers. Yeah, that's not. We only have to spend one mana and it doesn't take us any damage. It doesn't take us any damage. I'm I'm not sure if I want to actually draw one here. Yeah, I do. I always want to draw one. Like, why? Why would you not? Well, because we're going to go to eight, and then we're going to draw one to go to nine. We're going to play a land and keep up. Oh, well, that's actually. That makes our choice a lot easier. They just. Did they Argyle's Bloodfast to just draw a card and still discard it? Hmm. Well, isn't that something? So we're going to play you. I'd be world champion of intelligence, ridiculously good looks, and superhero powers. Wow. Huh. Very practical. <laughs> I'm the champion, the world champion of superhero power. <laughs> oh, Yogmoss Bargain, eh? And a Preordain. I think it's probably more practical to get the Preordain. Yeah, I don't think we need a bargain. I don't think so either. I think we have a library of Alexandria. We of Alexandria. Right now. What? We could do it right now. Yeah, but I'd rather just Manalik. keep up Mana Leak. Wow, going to 10. Are they going to play Mirror Universe and switch our life totals? We could always disallow our library trigger. Do we just counter that? No. I guess we'll counter what we get. What they get. Unless it costs, like, they're going to get Ancestral Recall and it's going to feel real bad. Not really, because they already have seven cards. <clears throat> Thoughtseize. Boy, do I not care about that. I'm going to actually, I'm probably going to mana like that. 
Because then they gotta pay four for Thoughtseize, which means they can't really do anything, and then we just get to keep up, like, other counterspell. Well, I guess they still get to disallow and take other counterspell, so. Um, actually, do we just draw in response? Hmm, this is actually... No, that seems bad. Well, if we, if we don't, we don't get to draw at all. Because we go to six cards. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? We're going to draw. You can have it. Knock yourself out. I got things to do. <sighs> yeah, if you guys are looking for an, a wardrobe pick-me-up, if you guys want to get uh, some onesies, some socks, some lounge pants, some tees, underwear, super comfortable boxers, uh, micromodal fabric, head on over to meundies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, I get a kickback. You get you get some some sweet swag and uh, helps out the stream. Meundies.com slash Frank Laporte. Hit that. Slam that affiliate link, boys. Oh, they took out the mana link, huh? I was going to... This is what I was going to... I was going to cast it on this anyway. Pfft. They're also at eight. Sucker. They're basically dead. They're going to play a Chupacabra. They're going to play a Dark Ritual and kill us. Is this blue black storm here? What's going on? I'm really confused. Is this a Gristlebrand? Three, four, six, seven. You're one shy of Gristlebrand. This is what I hate about the cube. There's all these moments where I'm like, I'm terrified of what you're gonna do. No, sir, I don't like it. You can answer another question while we wait. Nope. Between rounds, buddy. We don't have enough rounds. There's four more questions. You're dead to me. No, it says it's that those are just picking. We're just picking those. Oh, you those don't have the to answer them all? Pick. No, it's... Okay. Your choice in any order. You have to answer one before the draft begins, one before each round. You must answer one of these questions. I use. Yeah, it doesn't have to be all of them. Time Spiral. What does that even do? Oh, I guess they untap their lands, huh? That's pretty good. Welp. So they thought seized and they time spiraled us. Fascinating. That's a little awkward. No, I'm wishing I took that Yog Moth. Oh, if you want to answer extra ones, feel free. All right, all right. High Tide. Okay. Oh God. We should have mana leaked it. I knew we should have mana leaked it. <coughs> Did they just hide? Are they just done? Did they just high tide for nothing? What's going on here? What? <laughs> what just happened? Uh, you got me, dog. Huh. Oh. Okay, so we got one, two, three. We can actually play Ashiok. Puts us down to seven. Tap this. Keep up. Disallow. I really want to hit some storm. Oh, we got the tendrils. All right. Gas. Gasoline. Keep that up. Oh! We are supposed to draw first. Whatever. We'll just draw next turn. They're at two life. <laughs> I have basically taken a million from this Arguel's blood fast. That's pretty funny. Opponent said, yikes, he must have sharded. <laughs> yeah, touche. Touche. All right, we just win the game. Seems good. I have no idea what just happened, but all right. I'm going to spell pierce definitely coming in. Fatal push coming out. Cast down can come out. Sword C. Oh, Mesmeric Fiend seems great. Um, pack rat seems always good. I think that seems fine. I kind of like sword here, but I don't think I really care about it. No, I think we get you. <coughs> Preordain wouldn't have activated the library because Preordain is just going to replace itself, which is a one for one. And we were at six. Ooh, this hand would be great with another land. Oh god, really? It would have been Mulligan... Keep... We're on the draw, actually. 
So this actually, we just go turn one library. No. Yeah, we can go turn one library, turn two, draw. It's not terrible. They're going to thought seize us. No, they're not. All right. So we go library. Next turn we get to draw, play Watergrave. Yeah, let's do that. And it's basically like unmulliganing. He arguably died fast. <laughs> oh, man. Well, dang. It's a good... Co oh, it's Welcome to the library. Preordain wasn't, it's not in our deck. It's actually in the side. It was a card we exiled with. Uh... Oh, it wasn't in our hand. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but we wanted to keep up Disallow. It's way more important to keep up Disallow when they have like six, six cards in hand. Look, it's like we didn't mulligan. We got their Frexian Arena. Oh my god, look at the damage you're going to be taking. Oh my god. Let's play you. My god. Is there a Thief of Sanity here? I feel like Thief of Sanity is very good against the Storm deck. Assuming you don't die next turn. I don't think we're dying next turn. When you play in library, you start whispering when you speak so that they don't get shushed. It's it's usually it's it's, it's advisable. <laughs> it's usually advisable, but you don't know. Yeah, okay. D mode. <laughs> we got we done got D mode. As as Swole Mike would say. I wonder if they got the ponder. You think they got the ponder? Probably. Yeah, that's what I figured. They chose to shuffle. They were like, no sir, I don't like it. I have to go to the bathroom now. Oh, he's going to take a little poop. No, I'm not. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom now. Let's see what we hit first. Man, it... <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I, got the, I got the sweats, boys. Yeah, they did miss a fourth land drop, even though they demonic tutored, pondered, and Phyrexian arenaed. That's pretty awkward. A scoobity bap a doot and doo doo. Doot and doo doo doot and doo doo doo. See you later. No, don't be doing that. A Chungus birthday gift drop, if you know what I mean. I do. I uncomfortably do. Now, if we hit something like Ponder, it's nice because we can turn back on our guy. By that I mean library. Oh, all right. We'll just take an island, I guess. Hmm. Do we just go Signet Mesmeric Fiend? I think we can actually just wait to turn back our library on next turn. I don't think we care about Mesmeric Fiend when we have Mana Drain. Yeah, so not only with the extra land, it would have let you play around both Mana Leak and Spell Pierce, which is very weird that you play it after you play those cards. I don't understand. We also get to play Venser if we want to, so we got, we got quite a few options here.
back back to the drawing board if you know what I mean we're just gonna steal your whole deck right mystical tutor oh, that seems very good um yeah probably just keeping creeping tar pit here What are you gonna do? Turnabout. You're gonna tap all my lands? That's fascinating. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Could have actually gone Swamp Mesmeric Fiend into Mana Drain. The problem is draining it doesn't really do anything. We just get to keep a Bayou up and it's basically the same as if it didn't happen. Like, it's still tapping our lands. Like, it doesn't do anything. I mean, we're at 20. We have to just keep our fingers crossed that they can't kill us from 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Interesting. Do you have Yogmoth's will? I didn't see a Yogmoth's will. But of course, why would I? So I just put Time Spiral on the stack and then Lion's Eye Diamond, right? Figured. All right. Well, now you have seven cards to go off with, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they didn't crack Lion's Eye. That's pretty hilarious. No, last that was Yogmoth's bargain, not Yogmoth's will. Two different cards. There was a Yogmoth's bargain in the in the top four from Gonti, not a, not a Yogmoth's will. Mike is definitely dropping off his little chunguses at the pool. <laughs> his little birthday chunguses. Yeah, you're supposed to crack this when your hand is going away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They don't really have 11 mana because of this. They're probably just not a super experienced storm player. Demonic Tutor. Can we get a storm count? Five? All right, well, you got to get it up to ten. Six mana. You only have one black. Seems good. That's probably going to do it. I would assume. <clears throat> I 
Yikes. Well, there it is. Alright, we're having a good time. Unscrambled eggs. They're calling again. Boom, boom. A good night. So they just have to have tendrils in their thirteen cards out of nine because they can't draw anymore. So I have one, two. Three, four, five mana. So you can only, you can tendrils me for eight, which is sixteen. Uncomfortably nice to Mike the entire time. That's hilarious. Well, this is something. You saw mass manipulation. I did. I we we talked about it earlier. Definitely. Pentad Prism into tendrils. Come on, you're at one life. Are they telling again? Those toss salads and scrambled eggs. Really don't know when to. No, they. It actually now now when the toss salads and scrambled eggs calls me, my phone says scam likely. All right, well you got it all. If you just show me the tendrils, you win the game. There you go. The nightmare is over. Good lord. How you doing, man? Good. Did you get all the poop out of your bowels? I think so. Well, guess we'll never know. <clears throat> the world may never know. <coughs> well, that was a good match up until the point where it was no longer a good match. This hand seems really bad. Six drop, seven drop, Mesmeric Fiend. I don't think is going to really... Yep, that seems bad too. That sucks because our, I, I feel like we could actually won the last game. <coughs> yep, going to four. Congratulations. You, uh... We all, we all played hard. The old mold of four on the, on the play. Thrilling. It's just not a fun deck. That's why I took it out of my cube, because I'm just like... You have to play a bunch of dirtily do-nothing cards. Uh, like... Dark... <clears throat> you cough a lot, man. I'm sorry. It's okay. You just... You probably get a... Go, go get it looked at. Go get your... Go get your cough looked at. By a doctor. A physician. Because I worry about you. A doctor physician? Yeah. Doctor... That's, that's his name. double doctor? Yeah, he's... That's doctor physician. Wow. What a coincidence. Sure. That was actually a good hit. No less than a god. Thanks so much for the resub. Happy birthday, Mike. In a world of Bobers and Scrobers, truly you are their king today. It's true. It's true. Way to go, buddy. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Do you think we're gonna? Merry Chrysler. Do you think we're gonna hit two lands off of this Tassiger activation? Oh, 100 percent. I agree. I agree. It's not gonna be good. Wow, Argyle's blood fast as well. Okay. I'm drawing so many cards. Taking seven turn. It's actually not bad. Draws D's.
Oh, they have Mana Drain, though, in their deck. I don't know if they have it in their hand, but... That seems good. Let's make it look like we got the... Oh, we don't have any cards in hand, so there's no point of really playing around. I'll bluff him. <clears throat> oh, they didn't have it. Turn about... All right, let's see what you got here. Demonic Tutor. High Tide, Cabal Ritual. None of these None of these other cards are good. It's probably just Demonic Tutor because it gets what you want. Or High Tide can actually severely cripple you here. High Tide Turnabout is really the combo that we're worried about. What happens? You draw a card here. You go to 9. Then you go to 8. I think it is just Tutor. High Tide's real scary, though. <clears throat> but he has, like, no way to go off currently. Like, he, he has nothing to... Yeah, I like Nothing that, to actually. draw cards or anything like that. <clears throat> but I don't know what to do. With those tossed Sally's and Michael B's. He's coughing again. Burn, burn. Good night. Oh, wow. We just get to go again? Fascinating. Oh, wow. Good draw. And we have a disallow under here, which is also very nice. So we're putting Disallow's them to, not active yet, though. We're putting them to three, so they can't actually draw with Bloodfast anymore. It's not, but like they, they go through a lot of cards. One, two, three, four. We also have six mana, so we can actually activate Tastiger. Oh, they get to draw. They have Inquisition in hand, though. We know that. You can transform it. I bet you do. I don't actually think it's a May ability, right? Yo, it's, it is May ability. Huh. Who, would, who knew? Totes Inquisition. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> It's also possible if we hit two lands that they have to give us back mana leak, so. Come on, this is the one time I want two lands off the top. Spell Pierce is also pretty good. Alright, so you have to give us a counter spell. So they have to pay an extra two for this, which means they only have four mana. Then they turn about, untap everything. Ugh, that's frustrating. They don't have the mana for turn about. If they high tide, they do. Well, we're spell piercing it though, right? One, two, three, four. No, because then they just pay two, and then they go one, two, three, four, turn about. Oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> so six mana. Yeah, and if they play turnabout, they go one, two, three, four, turnabout, and they have two extra. We can't disallow because we don't have. There's 21 cards in their library. That's not how that works. However, if they draw any card, those are gone. You have these three. Now oh, they have another island. Look at that. They're so good at this game. Except they never play the lands first when we have things like Menelik and Spell Pierce. Is your spiral? No, this is going to be a turnabout. I think one, two, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sure. If we get to a point where we can disallow something, it's actually pretty good. So. <laughs> it looks like a baby with a wig on. <laughs> it looks like a baby with a wig on. Okay. 
That was unfortunate. Sorry about your wig life. Your island also taps for more too. What is that? Oh, that's right. I don't think it does anything, but it's good to know. Can you draw one card? That ain't a card. They like last game we lost to them at one. This game we mulled to four and they're at two, and it's just like it's just kind of frustrating. The problem is if they time spiral, then, yep, and it's just actually all for nothing. Well, of course, we don't have anything. Yep. <clears throat> We're back at 21 cards. Still close, but, yeah, of course, we literally have no spells. We have Disallow on our deck, Spell Pierce, Mana Leak. That's pretty good. That'll do. The problem is the only card we really care about right now is Tendrils. And Oh, we can actually... What if we disallow the Storm? That's pretty good, right? Can we do that? I would think so. I guess we'll find out. I mean, they just have to have Mana Drain in hand. And then we lose, so... Fascinating. I don't know why if he's I don't know why he's playing that if he's for the storm count because he's already over ten so because people who play storm just like to do whatever they can. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, this doesn't kill us, so unless they hit a storm card off of it, right? But then we can just disallow that storm trigger, right? So okay. I mean, it, it, disallowing this if then then they have tendrils, they just <clears throat> we're just dead. Like, yeah, we're not dead here. Yeah. <laughs> that cat. Can I not make this? Okay, well that's weird. There we go. Yes, manager and kills us. I already said that. Inquisition. Okay, that's fine. Don't care about you. Swamp, don't care about you. Island, don't care about you. There's the mana drain. Until end of turn. You make, yep, that's the game. It's so frustrating. Yeah, that's really frustrating. I mean, if they don't have tendrils in hand with up the four cards, then maybe. I mean, it's very easy to say, yeah, maybe it was worth countering desire after they desire, but. Uh, they can't, as far as I know, they can't cast Kicker with this, so. You got it. Yeah, well, I guess we're just dead then. We could have disallowed the storm tree. We know this. I was waiting to detend that. Because ten what for what? The Mesmeric Fiend? So they can yes. demonic tutor. 
I mean, it doesn't matter. Then they're just going to Yogg Moss Will for free and play it off that. Like, oh, yeah. it, there's literally nothing we can do right now. It's not a punt if it's actually the correct play at the time. Like, if they don't have, if they have tendrils in hand, and we counter the Minds of Desire, we lose on the spot. Minds of Desire doesn't kill us. Then again, I guess he probably wouldn't have bothered casting Mind's Desire if he had Tendrils. No, you, there's no reason to cast it. If you have the Wind Condition in your hand, you just hold it. You get all this You get all this insurance. And if we counter the, the Mind's Desire, then they can just kill us with Tendrils. Wait, did they... They didn't kick it, though. That's pretty neat. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Sure. Sure. I mean, they have mana. If they didn't hit mana drain, like, it, I think it'd be a different game, but. Like, they're just going to mana drain this, so. Yeah, obviously. Cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Scott, really appreciate the stipulation, even if uh, it did not go as well as we would have liked, because. Um... Yeah, I mean, in hindsight, it should have counted the Minus Desire Storm. Uh, didn't know that at the time. And, um, you know, we end up paying for it. So what can you do? All right. So we're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. And, um, all right. So we got one more question between the rounds. That's weird. I could have sworn. I was like, wait, we only answered one question, but wait, that's, I know that was around three. So that was weird. That was only round two. I had no idea. I thought you were just dropping, but then I, you never actually dropped. No, there's like, no reason on? to drop. Mm -hmm. Wait, are we O2? Yeah. Oh. That's still tilting then. Yeah, that sucks. Ugh. That's so frustrating. Oh, you get to be immortal. You don't even scare me. You don't even scare me, AIDS. What would you like to be stuck... What age would you like to be stuck at? What age? Yeah. I'd probably wait till 30. What if, you're thir what if, you're what if 30 sucks for you? Well, I'm going to live forever, though, so... In theory. This is just the age that you're stuck at, not how actual old you are. Right. Like, life still goes on. Right. Right, so I think 30 is, like, a good age to stop, because, like, there's a there's a point where you don't want to get too much old, because you're, then you're too old, you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to stop at, like, 70, right? So I figure somewhere between 30 and 40 is probably good. Maybe, like, I don't know, somewhere between 30 and 40. I'd probably say, like, 32. I think 32 is a good age to stop. <clears throat> Chungus is right, you know. Don't want to get too much old. <laughs> is that what you said? <laughs> well, I don't want to get. I might have said that. I don't want to get too much old, if you know what I mean. No, no one knows what you mean. What are you doing? Being a cutie? Okay. That was an easy one. That is actually an easy one. You want to do a harder one? That's what she said. <laughs> wow. Try to answer the rest of the questions before the end. This is quite amusing. Um, I'll give it a shot. I don't... The first one's... The first one's actually not easy. Yeah, that one's really hard. Probably not what she said to Mike. I don't know what that means. I forgot what I said. Oh, yeah. Definitely keeping this hand. It's got power. It's got counter spells. It's got lands. What more do you need? Am I drafting again? No, I'm not drafting again. I'm going to get food. I just said I'm starving. Come on, buddy. Get it together. I got to go put some pasta on some pizza. Is that really what you want? Nope. <clears throat> so we can make that happen. I don't want to. 
I can cook some noodles for you. And I could heat up a pizza, I guess. Yeah, I'll just put noodles on that. B. Be... I'm sorry, what? I'll put noodles on that B. Did I stutter? You know, you didn't. You didn't stutter. Okay. CC's mac and cheese. Wow, CC's. Man, that's a throwback. I'm out. I, I, uh, I'm a veto that one. If you could shape shift into any one person, not an animal, for one day, who would you be and what would you do? I'd turn into Angel. Uh, and then Scott says, I'd turn into Angel Lansbury and run through a crowded store hitting people with a clothesline elbow just to see Twitter blow up. What do you, what's your, I don't know. Okay. Well, you gotta think about it. I am thinking about it. Just think about it, man. Okay. I'm just going to play old snakey boy. I mean, there's a chance they can go deceiver XR kill us, but I think we're good. Noodles bees. Noodles bee. What does that mean? Oh, wait, I got it. Okay. I'd be Jeff Bezos for one day, and I'd donate to to my own, I'd donate a significant amount of money to the Michael Bartholomew <laughs> Foundation. <laughs> That's actually brilliant. Oh man, um, God, this is a good question. I don't actually know the answer. I'm gonna just Golgari Signet here. It's rough because we can't keep up Mana Leak, but whatever. I don't. I don't know. Stormy Daniels, I'd stay in my room all day. Wow. Well, that's exactly what we didn't want to happen, I guess. Bribery, huh? Well, see you later. Do we even have that good of creatures? We don't have any titans. Why are you letting this resolve? Because we cannot mana leak. Oh, you're right. No. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you get to shape shift. Well, you get to shape shift into that person. So I assume you don't have their information. You just you're like the you're like the mystique of that like you get to just look at like them and, and assume their life. If I assume their life, that means I know all their stuff. Did you just assume my life? <clears throat> Got them. If it was just looking like them, then I definitely would not not pick that one. Why? You would just look like Jeff, and then you donate the money. Yeah, but if I don't have access to the information, then I can't. You I can't would just go to tell your ATM. dudes. You'd be like, "Hey, bro." Your money guy, call your money guy. Be like, yeah, hey, call your money guy. Be hey, like, hey, hey money Jeff. guy, listen. Uh, it's me, Jeff Bezos. It's me, it's this me, is Jeff how I Bezos. talk to you, right? I need you to donate two billion dollars to Michael Bartholomew. And they're gonna be like, who? And you're gonna be like, don't worry about it. He's an illegitimate son. I have to give it to him. Just don't worry about it. Mike, if you could shape shift into one person's left armpit for five hours, who would it be? Left armpits only, no <laughs> righties. <laughs> You know, I don't know. Our deck is so good, they got a mole drifter. Gonna kill it, put it in the trash can. Yeah, luckily we don't have anything like terrible to hit off of that. I'll be lonely without you. Need your love to see me through. One, two, three. And we're going to leave Muldrifter in the graveyard. Big moles. Is this real? They're just gonna tap out on the mana leak? Nah, B. Unless you got that spell pierce, boy! He might. He didn't. He might! He didn't. Oh, pack rat to you. I think it's actually a good time, walk time. How much damage is this? Four, five. They go to twelve. And then we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten if we pack rat. Snapcaster? No, no snapcaster. Oh, I wouldn't have played that land. Why? Because the ratty boy. Who cares about a stupid rat? I'm just gonna get rid of this Garrick. 
What you know about that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is fine, right? Rip Garrick. I mean, we just gotta just get the Tassigurum back. This is four. This is we got a five, and we got double rats on the board. W ratties. What are you doing here? Repealing my my snake boy? Hmm. Wait, it's Mike's birthday today for the second time in a row. Mike has a lot of birthdays. It's not. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, Heliar. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is still lethal for you. This is where they go. Uh, Kiki Jiki. Deceiver Exarch. Five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll just rage. I will probably throw something. Okay, Snapcaster getting bribery. Okay. I mean, I don't think we have any other good creatures in our deck, I'll be honest. Our deck is not creature-centric. I guess they can Torrential Gear Hulk, but then there's, like, nothing to hit off of it, so... Meh. Five drops? Do we have any threatening five drops? No. Four drops? Gonti? Nope, Gonti's under the thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> can you post some of the best custom cards in my chat? I remember Jace that went, I guess, or something. I, 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 don't, I don't know what that's from. Oh, Venser's good. Maybe Bounce a Rat? You bounce Tassiger? You bounce my creeping tar pit. Fascinating. Well, there's a two turn clock, so. Blizz a two turn blick. One, two, three, four, five, six biscuits. Well, six biscuits. Ba -ba -ba biscuits. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just attacking here. I'm probably going to discard this Nexus of Fate. Let me see if I can find that Jace that you're talking about. Magic memes. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Mike Barbobly Bellerin. One of the people draw a card or something. Negative one, only you do only you draw a card, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Minus five, I wow, don't know. Wow, that's hilarious, dude. Jesus. Uh, yeah, let's make a thing. So long, Nexus of Fate. Hope they can win here. I don't. I don't hope they can win here. That was facetious. I mean, either win or they die. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's the game of life, Michael. You either win or you die. You win or you die. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, so... Uh, None of these cards matter. That's true. I put this guy over here. There you go. You can have a Fumarole and Isn't Charm or these three. I don't even care, dude. Ah, uh, yeah, man, I don't even care. 5-0 to show dominance. That would have been all right. We got Sphinx, Jace, and Grim. All right, you got it. I know three of your. Oh, they showed me. That's great. Thank you so much, Magic. Little changes like this are so. These are. This is so nice. So nice. Jace gone. <clears throat> I don't know what for two mana they can really do about this. They can concede. Oh, that's a good one. I agree. Just waiting for it now. Just waiting for the pop up. There we go. All right, so this feels like a spell piercy kind of deck. Yeah. Just kidding. Don't care. Wow. Brew! Hey, there's actually time for Cheesecake Factory. Oh, there is. That's, That's right. That's true. That is true. So what are our creatures? We got Tasker, Moldrifter, Gaunti, Venser, Ophio. Ophio! Remember, that's like Rufio from a big Rufio. Sub Ophio. Rufio. This guy. Rufio. Pack Rat and Snappy Boy and Terenchi Boy. What I want to know is how Frank gave birth to his son two days in a row. That sounds hard. Yeah, it was not easy. 
But you know, when you love when you love your son, you you, wow. you, you push through. You know. I'm tempted to bring in this anime dead. What? Why do they have Sphinx of the Steel Wind in their deck? Who knows? <clears throat> well, I'd like to figure it out. Who is this? Who is this character even? I don't even know what's going on. I don't want any of this. I don't care about that. There's been five seasons of that show. Oh, Tinker seems good, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Never seen it. Why don't you have Sphinx of Steel Wind in your deck? That's a good question. Uh, maybe they have Tinker. Yeah, it's probably Tinker or Doretti. Batman show without Batman. I want Batman. Why is there no Batman? Because you touch yourself, Michael. Oh, is that why? Nailed it. Gripping Tarpit? Okay, I'll, I accept your offering. Your tap land offering. That's a good one. That was a good hit. Batman is too busy watching Mike. Huh. What'd you hit? Nexus of Fate? Oh, yeah, bro. Good. That's pretty good. We'll be taking them turns, bro. Okay, you don't need to yell about it. Brew? Oh, oh do we just, that's good. Let's just run this dude out there. How about that? There's only like one question left. There's three questions. If left. you could be a teacher of anything, it doesn't have to be a traditional education subject. Yeah, but we did this one. So uh, it doesn't have to be a traditional education subject, and all of the students would be perfect and understand it. What would you most like to teach? Scott's answer was creative writing. My answer would be uh, logic. That's pretty much it. I just think people don't think logically or rationally. So if I was able to teach that to people, I would probably do that. That's a pretty pretty wide subject. Really? Like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. He's right. I don't understand this Ollie Game of Thrones reference that you guys keep saying. That's even that's like the third second or third time it's been mentioned. And I can't say I really understand what's happening did you answer the question I'm thinking oh I'm sorry I'm just asking god excuse me for asking yeah excuse you you got rid of Grim Tutor man I don't care about it I'm never you gonna you could have for Time Walk that would have been really good it would have been really good <laughs> I, I think I would teach Matthew Ori, if you think you can make forty percent royalties off of anyone you teach, um you know what? Draw your cards. I'll kill you with my rats. Right. Make another rat that you take 4, 8, 12. You go to 2, and then Creeping Tar Pits is lethal. That's a yikes for me, dog. No, because you block here, and you take 4, 8, you go to 6. All right, we're just going to pass here. Oh, also, them drawing cards is great for our Nexus of Fate. Okay, just checking, just checking. Yes, no one's going to sign a contract where they agree to give you 40% of their of their income. Like <laughs> That's an insanely that's, high amount. Like Managers make like 5 to 10%. Yeah, that's utterly or 40%. insane. 40%. You got it. Well, you're not attacking, so. So can I bounce this guy? Is that a thing you'll let me do? Uh, 
Because if they counter this, eh, it's whatever. Oh, no, they're going to... I think I would just teach math. Math? Yeah. Boring. I like math. I like math. <laughs> you know, you could do that with your actual glasses. Well, this seems better. I don't have them on right now, so what do you want me to do, man? Go get them. Um, one, two, three. Or I'd teach, like, a how to be an adult class, like how to do taxes. Basically, just how to do taxes. That's really it. Basically, it's just a tax class. I just didn't want to say it's a tax class. You know what, Michael? Just stop it. You gonna make a rat? Not this turn. I what I'm gonna do is make a rat, and they're gonna draw their card, and we're gonna play Nexus of Fate. They basically just can't attack us, right? Like, there's no way they can get by these the rat boys. Mike, you should teach about insurance in that class too. That's some confusing stuff. That's a good idea. I'm surprised they don't teach stuff like that. We're like, why don't they teach you about taxes? Because it's so important. Because the American education system is hot garbage. Fair, 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 fair. Uh, yeah, you can have that. I don't care about. I don't care about your grimmy. Can you teach Mike how to grow a nice beard? No, it's not. It's something you can't be taught. It's actually true. You can't be taught. It just. It's just a thing. You either can or you can't. There is no try. I'm gonna take an extra turn. And then I'm gonna make some rats. Rats. Do you understand how many turns? Better counter this boy. Do you understand how many turns I'm gonna take right now? Two. Oh, is this resolving? Oh, biscuits. Oh, biscuits, he oh, says. Oh, biscuits, he says. Biscuits, he says. Oh, biscuits is what he says. What if that was a time walk? Wouldn't that be amazing? That'd be pretty good. This is lethal, right? Sure looks like it. So we can just attack with this guy, too. One, two, three. Oh, we can't. Dang it. 4, 8, 12, 13. Yeah, it's still lethal, right? I mean, and then we get to untap and do it again, so. Yeah, this is fine. Sure. Baby, I hear the blues are calling. So you kill this, but then you block one, you take 4, 8, 12, you go to 2, and then we get to untap and make two rats. Sure. And you go to 2. And we get to take another turn in case you guys have forgotten. What is this? Through the breach. No, oh, that was super random, but also really good. I'm glad you don't have that anymore, I guess. What was the punt? What punt was there? Was there an incorrect play I made? I mean, they have 12 cards in their library. I think they probably won. Sure. Yep, neg five. <laughs> Whoops, pasted my password in chat. <laughs> well, that's awkward. 
Guess you're changing that one. Huh. Well, we're going to draw Garrick. You ready? And we could have played it off the Grim Monolith is why I mentioned it. They have nine cards in hand. That's pretty pretty nuts. Well now. Rats all day. Rats all day. Rats all night. Rats all day, rats all night. Rats all day, get real loose. Alright, so they're at six. I think Sphinx would be more interesting if it wasn't a May build. I think it would actually be less powerful that way. Obviously. I don't, I, are they just going to brain fire? They threw the breach for Sphinx of the Steel Wind, so I guess that's one way to do it. Dig through time. Uh, dig through time. Why would it be less powerful if it was a May ability? Because you get very low in your library. And if you're forced to draw cards, you can... Like me personally, I can do something like Sphinx's Revelation for 7, and it forces you to draw 14 cards if it's not a May ability. So you just deck yourself because it's not a May ability. How many spells have I cast? Uh, Pack Rat... Cryptic Command and Ashiok. So three, yeah. Bribery? What do you get here? Moldrifter? Gaunty? Gaunty? Sure. Torrential Gearhulk is good. Nope, you can't actually cast anything off of it. No, your graveyard is just dig through time, so you get a free dig through time. All right. But like... How does it deal with these? Like, you just block two and you take ten because I'm going to make another rat. Did we cast Fatal Push? I'm pretty sure we just discarded. Oh, we cast Fatal Push on Snapcaster. So, yeah, four cards. Ashiok, Pack Rat, Fatal Push, Cryptic Command. I guess we cast Nexus of Fate, too. Can we just draw a Time Walk? That's really all I want to do. No, I don't because then I have to. And I can't discard it. One, two, three, four, five. What about Muldrifter into Time Walk Land? That would be good. Okay. Okay. I don't know what they took, so I guess the world may never know. Oh my god, I just want to know if we're having to go to game three. Dire Fleet Daredevil, you get... Sure, you get a fatal push on a rat. Well, that's definitely nice. Good for you. So then if they go block, 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 uh, this guy dies because it's a 4-4, this guy dies because it's a 3-3, and this guy would die because it has two damage on it, and then they're all of a sudden two twos. Oh. Huh. Well, that changes everything. Okay. Well, they changed their mind.
I think I draw two more, go to five cards. It's aggressive. We're just gonna play Jace here because it's the same as not playing Jace and then pack riding. Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk. Cryptic Command, eh? I don't actually think we're making a rat here. So they have 14 cards left. What are their win conditions here? Found one. <laughs> Avalanche Rider. Fascinating. It's just better to discard this guy. We also have to hit another land here, which I'm not thrilled about our odds of doing now. Plus, I'd rather these guys be 4 4 so they can block all the things. This is going to hit Jace. Sure. I think we just have. I think we, like, we have a long game. Plusing Jace is a win con, except for when they have a 4 6 flyer that we can't deal with. But otherwise. Oh, that's fascinating. That's a good boy. Do we just discard it, or do we actually... You can evoke it. <clears throat> if we hit a land, then we get to make a rat. But if we don't hit a land, it's awkward. Meanwhile, the two la two lands come to play tapped. Creeping Tarpet and Sheldock Isle are already accounted for. Like, they're going to block here, making these guys 3-3s. Three we actually have to make a rat here. Nope, 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 nope. Don't do that. <laughs> Whew. Let's cast the evoke. Let's see if they want to draw four cards here. I doubt they do. I doubt they do. It blocks flying, but we're at 16. I'm not really too concerned with that. I wonder if they just want to counter this. Guess we'll find out. They did not. So now we get to play a six land, which I don't think does much here. So let's get in there. They have to block with everything. No, I guess they can leave. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of things that we have to that we get to do here, and all of our rats are five fives, so. Yep. Yep. One of them dies, so it's gonna be oh. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Yep, obviously you have something. so bad why didn't these guys die they're all three threes why didn't these die don't know two damage and two damage and then they both get oh they bounce one of the double blocking guys not the interesting so they're at two Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you deal a six? Are you just gonna explosion expansion us for a million? Sure. So we put it, should have put this guy first, I guess. Yeah, obviously. So wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we block and we go to cool. Must be nice. Wow. <sighs> I thought they would have bounced the one that wasn't blocking because that just seems better to me, but I guess I guess they got it all figured out. I want to bring an animate dead now because if they're going to play some shenanigans, then so be it. So be yourself. 
Shut up. Wow. Got him. It's rude, mate. You're a rude mate. It's true. Got him. I got Ophiomancer. I'll just go 41. I don't care. I don't even care anymore. He doesn't even care. He cares. All right. Yes. Keep. I'm not afraid anymore. What up, Sammy? Mike's three years old. How old are you, man? No, I only turned two. Oh, a Sherlock Isle of their own. Fascinating. Is it? Shut up. Uh... What if we Grim Tutor next turn? Getting my dad. Hmm. Sure. Oh boy. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. All right. I'm game. Did they miss a land? No. All right. Well, fascinating. So we could go shell dock. There's a lot of thief snapcaster. Probably just slow. Why not just Snapcaster? We're going to have Cryptic in the graveyard. Okay. Plus it lets us play Grim Tutor again if we want to. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just Cryptic Command next turn. Oh, they didn't do anything. Well, fascinating. I guess they jaced us. You alright, man? I'm hearing some weird noises coming from your direction. I make any noises, you... Fazuli? I am a Fazuli. Ruly, ruly, bring the Fazuli. I have nine cards in hand. You better play, you better play something. Ruly, ruly, bring the Fazuli? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that mean? You don't know? No one knows. That's not a real thing. You never heard the song of song of my people? Ruly Ruly Bring the Fazuli is the song of your people. Yeah. The Very you, proud people. No, man, I gotta say I have not heard <laughs> it. I gotta admit. Oh boy. I must admit. God, I'm getting so tired of this, Jace. And all these really awkward situations. So we can go one, two, three. Let's do this. Add this. Then we have one. We can use the one to activate this. We can use a blue to activate this. No, we're too far. Too far from that. Ruly, ruly, bring the fazuli. <laughs> He's going to deck us, man. They have two cards less than we do. Yeah, but he's going to Jace alt. No, we're just going to counter bounce. Uh, counter target spell. Rooly, rooly, bring the fazuli. <laughs> You like that one, huh? I, I, you know what? Like wouldn't be the word I'd use, <laughs> but it entertained me. Let's put it that way. Okay. Mm. 
you know what? Sure. If this is how you want to spend your days. I'm crying over here legit. <laughs> Fantastic. That's all we've ever wanted was your tears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana next turn. We're so close to grimming and getting like I guess we can oh we can actually grim get Vraska and then kill whatever they play, which is pretty sweet because they I forgot we even had Vraska because we've never seen it. Yeah. <clears throat> Gonti. That's so weird to bribery for Gonti. I feel like Gonti I feel like Gonti or uh, bribery for torrential gear hulk to get fact or fiction back is almost better. Especially because this is your turn, so. Alright, so. Black. And now we can go one, two, three. So, we, one, two, three. We have black, black, black. We don't have enough. Fudge! That's so obnoxious. We need three black. Oh, wait, hold on. With this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, we are one shy. Still might be correct to Grim Tutor for something here. I'm gonna look at our deck because we've we've stopped the recording, so I can actually just look at our deck here and see what we have in it. Um, and it's not the final. So, all right, this is the final list. Venser is pretty sweet. We can we can we can go for a Venser and bounce our own Gonti. That's pretty good. It's not terrible. We could just get an Ashiok too, which is a lot of pressure. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. This is gonna be three. This essentially costs one, so that's four. So we'd have five mana to play with. So we could get Ashiok and keep up cast down to kill this guy. Nope. Why not? No black? Read cast down. It is legendary. Read cast down. Nice. Nicely done. They have six cards in hand. They are tapped out right now, though. All right, so... I like the Venser play. Bounce our own guy? Yeah. We could also get a time walk here, right? Yeah, we have no pressure. It doesn't seem that great. So we have one, two, three, four, five mana. Hmm. Animate dead do anything? Not yet. Could just play Moldrifter too. Yeah, we'll just get a Venser. All right. <laughs> that was my stomach. Yeah, boy, I know. I'm quite hungry. Siege Gang Commander. All right. All right. That's actually fine. That is not a card I care about. At all. Don't be a land. Ashiok. So we can cast down this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. We can... Oh, see, again, we're one away. Can't do it all, man. Well, we're definitely killing this guy. Um, Probably just want Ashiok here. Actually, let's Gonti. No, let's Ashiok. This is, this no, is, it's going to. No, it's Ashiok. No, it's going to. No, it's Ashiok. I'd rather just have Ashiok on the board. Especially if we can hit some, some beasts. Oh, we had two Snapcasters? Ooh! -wee. 
Hey, wait. I said right here, I said, hey, wait. Did you? Mike is selling me 365 days of birthday excellence, actually. Please, yeah. please no. Please. Uh, but I'll, never, I'll never come back to the stream again. Our, our shell dock has Snappy Boy. We can snap our own Grim Tutor, which is pretty nice. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's really obnoxious. I mean, if they go for Sheldock, we're just going to play the Snapcaster. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Long hair, don't care. I will block a Goblin Ashiok and go to four. And I really doubt you're going to be playing... Uh, you're going to be paying for this guy next turn. Oh, I see. Huh. Well, isn't that something? Oh, Magus of the Moon. What a maniac. More like Maniac of the Moon, am I right? No. Well, that's unfortunate. I thought I was right. Nope. You're gonna use... You don't want a Giganti? Not really. I mean, I'd rather get a bunch of blockers to save Ashy. I guess that's still fine, right? We can do both. We can do both. That ain't bad. That could be very good. Uh, we can go black, white, animate dead on this guy. Yeah, I think we're in fine shape to attack here. I don't foresee you paying for this guy. They didn't. Yes. I had a feeling they would not. So they go through the Breach Emrakul. Which is not terrible. It's frightening. Oh my god. Alright. I guess this kills Ashio. That's what it seems like it's doing, yeah. Yeah, that's not super impressive. That's a two for one if I ever saw it. And believe it or not, one time walk effect and it's insane because then we get to go Snapcaster. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, we excelled it with Ashiok, so it's gone now. That's sad. So we're just going to Grim Tutor, right? And... Get, get a Grim Tutor. So we're going to go one... Three... Grim... Get... Time Walk, right? Kill one of these idiots. Look, we're out of cards. If we steal their shell dock, we can cast it, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, let's play the land, I guess, because it doesn't really matter here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Steal this. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Second Grim Monolith. Sure. And that'll do it. Wow, alright, one, two. Not too bad, not too bad. Deck's perfect. Can't can't go wrong. Thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, you know the drill. Meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, you'll get 15% off. Please click that link right in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it.